Uh, we talked earlier about um, the Port Authority and finding funding for them. And uh, where it regards the Port Authority, I do think that the casino needs to be paying uh, for transit and public uh, roadways and so forth. Uh, I think that that's uh, the, pr the appropriate tax for that. Regarding UPMC, that, that sounds more like a, that is more of a, a local issue that they're, they're really not paying, they're getting off the hook to some extent. And I do support City Council's uh, uh, wish to finally get the, some of the larger nonprofits making us over a certain amount of money. Uh, however, I don't know how constitutional it will stand up, considering that would be basically discriminating one nonprofit versus another. Uh, yeah, that's true. But um, you know, there, I, I do think that they do need to start coming a, and paying their fair share, and not just uh, wait on, on what and see where they're gonna what they're gonna pay any given year. Where it regards Marcella Shale, though, that's the bigger one that I want to address of your questions. Um, I, it's actually interesting you bring that up because I am running as an environmentalist. I've always admitted to everyone door to door and, that I am a tree hugger. Um, uh, I'm pure, through and through a, an environmentalist. In fact, I do two or three cleanups a year uh, on the Upper North Side. Uh, but where it regards, um, um, you know, the, the taxing of the shale industry, um, you know, the problem is you look at uh, at Texas and they they charge like I guess it was somewhere between three to six percent, and we're nowhere near that. We're charging only one uh, one percent uh, for extraction, and it's a, it's a one time fee type thing. Uh, I think these guys are getting off the hook just as bad, and I think we do need to be taxing them. And what Re uh, what Governor Corbett uh, just pat pushed through the legislature um, is 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 a shame in my opinion. So I do think that the shale industry needs to be held more accountable, and that includes financially speaking. All right, I think we definitely want to comment on that further. I have some things I want to say, but for now, I do believe we have a call. So Dave, why don't you get the call? All right. Hello. Not Hello, me. Caller. <laughs> Hello, caller. Hello. How you doing, Hello. caller? Hello, Al. Yeah, how you doing? Good. How about you? This is Steve. How you doing, Steve? Good. Hey, we missed you the last few weeks, man. Okay. Now, aren't wanted, you the, are you the same? I say Steve. Yeah. Are you the same Steve that called in a few weeks, months ago? I sure am. All right. So uh, can we, well, I can't ask you that, but um, what do you think about what Dave's issues are, his core issues? Do you like what you're hearing? I'm just curious. What, what's your thoughts on what Dave has to say and where he stands? Although he's well, sitting right now. First, first, I'll be honest with you. Um, I tuned in late. We've been we've been wanting to see you the last few weeks, and we turn on at six o'clock, and you haven't been on. So we just happened to turn on the TV now, and you're on. So good okay. to see you. Um, as far as where you stand, sir, uh, I think you're right. Just catching your tail end of your last speech there. I think the Marcellus Shale should be taxed more. Right. I think they should be paying their fair share. They're laughing their way to the bank. And uh, I also wanted to say hi to Brian, who's sitting next to you. Hello, Brian, how are you doing, Steve? in my house for Bible study all those months. R really? Did, when was this? Uh, on Mount Washington. Oh, yeah, yeah, Steve, what's up? How are you, man? Don't say the last name. <laughs> Don't uh, no, Steve, no. I do, Steve, I do remember you, yes, sir. Yeah, hi. good to see you. You too. Um, I'm actually looking at leaving Pittsburgh here in a few months, Steve. Well, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, Steve, no, no, no. hey, how's your wife doing, Steve? She's doing good. Sounds like fun. Um, tell her I said hi and everything, too. I and, will. And, and, and um, I found a really good church in Hot Metal Bridge Faith Community on the south side, Steve. Okay, well, Steve, before you go, um, I don't know if you look at the ending credits. I hope you do. But just to give you an idea, check me out on the YouTube page because we're always having content there. And I got some really off-the-wall stuff there now. But in oh, addition to that, Steve, um, every Wednesday at 2 p.m., this not this particular episode, but our show is on every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. with the rebroadcast. And every first Tuesday we are live, although in July we may end up with a different date because there will be a reassessment of sorts. Not a reassessment, but you have to submit for your series again. So sometimes your day or what have you may be changed. But hey, Steve, definitely Steve, keep checking Steve, it out. Steve, good hearing from you, man, anyways. And um, send me an email, Steve, because I'm interested in knowing about this uh, Bible study and all that stuff. He doesn't do it anymore. Okay. Well, send me an email anyway. <laughs> hey, I will. I also um, just wanted to say goodbye. You guys have a great night. And uh, we've seen you on YouTube. It's great stuff. Funny. All right, thanks, well, thanks. Stay cool.
Thanks, Steve. All Good right. night. You yeah. too. Good, Good night. night, Steve. Bye, Steve. Good night, Steve. It's, Bye. I, can't, I can't believe I have, fr I have fans all over the U.S. <laughs> well, keep your fans oh, quiet for okay. a minute. i got some work to do. Sorry. I'm going to put you in that river tomorrow. No, I'm no. kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, I better not say that. I'm Italian. Wait a minute. I know. I'm just kidding here. Um, it looks to me like from what you have said in the last five minutes, you actually have people who like what you're saying. So you know what that means. Uh-oh. People want to take it. MS <laughs> means you're worth it. MS means you, you have a good idea. I hope so. Even though you made fun of me just because I'm bald, but that's uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. You, you're, you're follically challenged, too. Yeah. How come you don't have that in your bio? Politics. Half of it is politics, half is Wait my job. So. Why don't you have it in your bio? Follically, follically challenged. Challenge. I'm there sorry. I couldn't help that. Looks like you got one call. I, mean, I know. I can see it says one call. What do you think? I'm drunk? Oh, do I look drunk to you? Do well, you know I'm, We're trying to be serious here. We're talking about life and death, and you're over there. Hey, hey. I'm sorry. All right, now back to reality and not nonsense. Okay. Uh, caller number two, you're going to have your call answered by Brian. All right. Hello. Uh, welcome to PCTV, caller. You're on. Hello? Hi. How's it going, ma'am? Uh, state your name, please. State your name? What is this? The court? What, what's your name, ma'am? Hello? Hello? Yeah, Brian's asking you your name. I'm sorry, it's Donna. Hi, guys. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Brian and Stewie said hi, Al. Okay, how you doing? Uh, you don't know who Brian and Stewie are, I guess. No, uh, Brian good. and Stewie from Family <laughs> Guy, Donna. Hey, 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 we're not here to be joking. We're here to do, conduct business. What? I can't, it's hard to hear you guys. Um, Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. I'm Brian. What question do you have? Oh, my God. <laughs> See, this is a joke between Al. He doesn't like a, this certain program. I won't mention it, but there's Brian and Stewie and Peter. And yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 mentioned it. I mentioned it. The program, I love. I'm a big fan of that, too. Oh, my God. That's not <laughs> <talking about it. laughs> and it comes on. I can tell you the times it comes on. It comes on, it comes on at uh, 9 o'clock on Sunday night. <laughs> Donna, we're trying to interview this man. We only have five, 15 minutes left. Will you come on and ask... This gentleman who is campaigning for public office, a good question? No, no you, that, that's a dumb statement to make to me. <laughs> don't even go there. That's one thing I don't talk about in my house. Why are you there's calling two in things that, Donna? Do, do, there's two Donna. topics that does not be brought up in my house. Gosh, it's Donna, and, Donna. And, 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 and the down, reason you, being is it causes I know. arguments. Donna, why are you calling that's in that? That's a loud, that's a loud, that's a loud, it's hard to hear you guys. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know. You, don't you have a question to ask Dave? No. No, no I always call an aggravate L. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he likes my aggravate him, so that's my I'm calling. I do not like when people <laughs> aggravate me. Yeah, he likes being aggravated by I me. I do not like being <laughs> aggravated. I oh, like yeah. to be aggravated free. He tell he wants me to tell oh he he oh, here's one that gets him. Oh. Hi Steve. Don't do that hi Steve. <laughs> And who else? I hope, oh, why do you have to say Steve? Hi. Not you, Hi. Steve, not you, Hi. you or Steve, but a different Hi. Steve. Steve Cavendish. I don't want to hear his name. He lives in Ohio. He needs to stay in Ohio. Never mind. I don't <laughs> need to stay in Ohio. Well, That's his decision to make. See, I know how to get Al going. Donna, you're making me sneeze. <laughs> God bless you. Come on, we're on TV here. So? I can't be here. No, they're not. They know a lot. Hey, what, you want to? I haven't it? talked to you in how long because of the different things that's been going on. Yeah, but we only got a couple minutes. And we got to get Dave's family business in here. Fine. What's for dinner, Donna? Happy birthday to everybody! It has a birthday this month. Happy Easter! And I'm not telling you what's for dinner. <laughs> hey, Donna, what's for dinner tonight? Food. Um, Al likes hot sausage. <laughs> His favorite is ham. He doesn't like ketchup and he doesn't like mustard. He likes a little bit of mayonnaise. What the heck is that? <laughs> We're talking about health care and education and, and Port Authority. Authority. How did my food get Port in there? Port Authority is a pain in the butt because they raise their fares. Don't oh, get me going. Well, they I raise their fares, cut their bus services, and nobody Donna, can't get Donna, to where they need Donna, to go. People Donna. can't oh, no. even get to Jefferson Hospital because there's no oh, buses that go to Jefferson Hospital. I'm have to burn this <laughs> Donna, I can get a bus in Rochester, New York for a buck okay. everywhere I go, you know? Okay, but guys, you can't get to nowhere with a dollar on a... You can't even get a, a dollar don't even pay you to get on a Port Authority bus. In Rochester it does. Well, gee, why don't they get some lessons, from, why don't Port Authority get some ideas uh, Okay, but them? guess what, gang, we got to start wrapping it up. So, Donna, tell me your hellos and whatever. 
because we got to start moving it ahead, and you need to call earlier next time, you. I, I've been busy, you. I don't want to hear it, you. Well, would you come here and take care of Martha? I will. Yeah, are you, are you sure no, 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 no. Come over on live TV. Week? Give me a break. Give you a break? What do you want? A Kit Kat break? That's an old camera. No, I don't like Kit Kat. Give me a break. Give I haven't been out. I was only out in I was only out twice in the month of March. Well, you come on. We only got like two more minutes to talk here. Okay, I'll hang up then. No, yeah. then you got to say your other things first. Hi, Randy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I didn't need to tell you to say hi, Randy. Okay, hi, Ricky. Well, if you're gonna say hi to Ricky, why don't we say hi to Andy? That ain't fair. Hi, Andy. Happy birthday to Tommy and Nikki. And what about happy birthday to you? Happy birthday to me and happy Tony. Birthday. How old daughter? You I don't ask a woman her age. My gosh. I lie about my age because I, I don't want everybody to know my real age. And I even dye my hair because I don't want to be related to my brothers. Okay. Can we just wrap this up here before I get <laughs> slapped? Let's wrap it up, Donna. you got to go. All right, well, you can always give me my phone number, and you can always give me a call. Okay, well, okay. No, 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 no. Every time I tell people what we're having for dinner, nobody never contacts Al and tells them and says that they're going to come over for dinner. Can you do that, too? <laughs> I'll come over for dinner. I'll come over for dinner. <laughs> He'll come over for dinner. Maybe. Okay, well, we'll make arrangements. Maybe. All right, we'll make, make arrangements. Make for one, two, no, 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 no. And that's a promise. If he comes over for dinner, I'll make his favorite food. Thank oh, you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Can we wrap this up here? I'm going to get canceled. No, you're not. They're not allowed to cancel you. I'm going to hang up so you can do what you have to do, and I'll talk to you guys later on. All right. Thank you. God. I'm hungry. God bless. Okay, we'll God. see you later. Guys. Bye. Did you hear what I said, Albert? <laughs> I'm not calling Albert. you. Good night, you. Good night, you. Good night, you. I'm hungry. Good night, you. Come home hungry. Yeah, something like that. Good night, that. Donna. Good night, Donna. I don't night, tell guys. people about my eating Good night. <laughs> You know, this is a show, everybody, that's supposed to be on Nationwide TV eventually. <laughs> We're not supposed to be here talking about what I eat, what I don't eat. I'm not Dr. Oz. I'm Albert Turcaso. No, no, no. <laughs> this is a great segue into what we're going to talk about. It's a family show. Yeah, yeah it may it's be a family show, show so but it's not, about, family. it's not supposed to be talking about what I eat. Huh. What do you eat? I do you eat, like ketchup? I like mashed potatoes. Do you like ketchup? I like ketchup. I you got ketchup on your mashed potatoes? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> oh, that's, that's disgusting. Let's not talk about ketchup on right, mashed potatoes family. here. Wait a minute. I got other things to do. Well, Some fortunately, our audience probably had dinner or they'd be pretty hungry. Everybody right be now. quiet on the set, please. <laughs> quiet on the set. Seriously. Quiet on the set. I got to get my things going on here. Quiet on the set. Nobody speak yet. Now, before we get to your family, will you stop laughing? I'm being serious here. If you laugh one more like time, I'm going to get one more laugh out of you. And I swear to you, I'm going to go Sicilian instead of humanitarian. <laughs> oh. And then you're going to have more, less here than I do. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, you kind of do. No, I'm, not, I'm just kidding. All right, now seriously, I don't want to skip this. This is important. Um, we might, we're probably not going to have time to talk about this. But one thing that is extremely important to me we do need to fix the assessments. We have to save the Port Authority. But one of the things that is extremely important, I want everybody to call Congress and also the United States Supreme Court, try to get their number. I don't know their number. They're trying to overturn the Obama health care, congressional health care law. If they do that, I'm going to come out, I'm going to tell it like it is. Millions of people will eventually die as a result. Now, it will also mean that senior citizens suffer and pay more cost than they need to right now. A lot of people from 18 to 26 will lose their coverage, and a lot of sick, pe sick people who are no longer losing their coverage because they're sick or because of lifetime limits will once again be allowed to lose their coverage. So if the Supreme Court overturns this law, they are saying to the American people, whether you are conservative, whether you are liberal, they are essentially saying that we, the Supreme Court, can have lifetime, extremely good health care, and every elected member in the Congress and the President can have fantastic health care, but you, who are our bosses, could go ahead and die. 